All right, so what's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm gonna build this rabbit hutch. I'm gonna show you how I did it. It's gonna be a two-part video. Uh, this is part one. It's been a process. Uh, part one will cover construction, basic construction, uh, maybe some staining. Part two should cover uh, finalizing the doors, and yeah, whatever, it's part two. Okay, so we got our legs and our cross pieces cut. Uh, I'll cut the uh, sides out of these later once we get this assembled. Okay, so we got our pocket holes drilled and just pre-installed some pocket hole screws. Now we're going to, this thing's just slightly clamped up, we're going to go ahead and uh, put our sides in, screw them in. All I want to do here is just transfer my top edge line over to this edge. So straight edge, line it up. some doors for the front of this thing. Uh, basically all I did was cut out a frame, glued it up, 
and we are just going to finish screwing them in. So I've got the uh, doors made up, the glue's dry, so I pulled the screws back out. I went ahead and I'm going to put a spline in these just because I, I think these doors are going to get used a lot. And a six year old opening this cage and slamming the doors. I, I think this will add a little bit of strength. I will put the screws back in. Okay, so now we're going to cut off our spline and then uh, sand it. And there we go. <clears throat> pretty smooth, pretty good. Uh, this is going to get rough stain, rough paint anyway, but that should really help this join out. Okay, so I need to figure out a ramp to get the rabbit up to the top layer. So I just I grabbed a piece of board, cut it to a rough length. Um, <clears throat> I put a bar clamp up here uh, just to kind of give me a reference. I think the easiest way to do this is to just let's put this up there and mark it. So here we have that piece out. Uh, all I want to do is make sure that our line that we drew underneath is square. I also have an edge that this plywood sits on. This is upside down. Um, so I want to compensate for that three-quarter inch lip. And then I decided to come out roughly 13 inches. Uh, if I need to go more, I will, but I, I think that should be plenty. So I test fit the hole. I uh, think it's a little too big. I'm going to go ahead, or a little too small. I think I'm going to go ahead and make this thing uh, roughly two inches deeper. Alright, let's try that. What I want to do now is uh, mount this to the uh, bottom of the ramp. There we go. I didn't crank them down. I'm going to take all this off before I stain or paint or whatever I'm doing here. I guess basically what I'm trying to attempt here is uh, this piece, this ramp will be removable and we can just lift it up and out. It's not really necessary but this whole thing's been designed this far up into the point of being completely removable so easy cleaning I'm just kind of going with it it actually makes it a little bit more complicated to make this thing removable and cleanable but okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stain the frame I'm gonna use uh, Thompson's water seal I'm just gonna pour it in a cup I'm going to give it one good solid coat completely around everywhere. Should waterproof it for the most part. For the interior parts, I think I'll just do polyurethane as well as on the doors just to maybe give a little contrast. Thanks for watching part one. Uh, please be sure to check out part two of this video on the rabbit hutch cage. Thanks.